This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hi guys, it's Simulsi here, so welcome to another overview video. So today I'm taking a look at the rounded room feature, which is a brand new feature coming to The Sims 4 base game. So here you can see in the walls and rooms panel, there are a few different options for rounded rooms. There's a smaller one, a large one, and an extra large one. There's no like drag and drop feature for rounded rooms, so keep that in mind. It's just these click and drop ones. And so we have this one that I'm going to place here, which is the smallest one, and they place in like a quarter of a tile or a quarter of a circle placement and two of them next to each other of course is like a half circle and then four of them will create a full circle well this one's gonna be kind of like a square circle <laughs> it's a squarish circle um, and then to remove the walls in the center you can of course knock them down with the sledgehammer tool but I'm just gonna hold the control button just to easily remove them and then yeah there's a complete round building well round ish I want to make it a perfect circle though so we can take a look at the rounded roofs and see how those look and look at this there's a lot of different shapes I mean they're all circular but um, there's a few different options of course you could like do a wavy pattern if you wanted to place like a couple of them next to each other like like that I think that could be kind of interesting <laughs> but um yeah so for the roofs we do have a perfectly round one and we haven't had any room to actually place it on um so it would look how it should and now we do and it's so cute ah, I'm completely obsessed um this is gonna open up so many possibilities for like medieval buildings and castles and uh like art deco style builds and I'm sure a ton more that I can't think of right now so I'm very excited about this and yeah I'm just excited to see all of the different things that people are going to create with it now here are the doors and windows options of course and if you click on them you'll see that there's a couple of categories to filter from right now I only have the Sims 4 base game and the Sims 4 high school years installed so those are the only windows you're going to see if you click on this filter you'll notice that the windows are for large and extra large curved walls so it'll limit the selection a little bit you'll notice a few less windows and then if you go on this one which supports all curved walls so a smaller one like this one it'll limit the selection even further so these single tiled windows will place no problem they look just as they should so for these smaller curved rooms like this the single tile ones will work perfectly and then you'll also notice that there's a couple of options from the sims 4 high school years now keep in mind this is a completely base game feature but with the sims 4 high school years we're getting a couple of windows um, that actually work with curved walls so you'll notice at the bottom it says curved window next to the asterisk so if you place this on the curved wall it'll actually curve with it and yeah, it looks really good. It curves and it looks nice. So very happy to see that they included a couple of windows to go along with this update because the update's coming out along with the expansion pack. So it definitely makes sense. Hopefully they'll be able to update some of the base game windows to actually curve with the walls as well. But so far they haven't updated any of them. Um, and then hopefully with future expansion packs and game packs and stuff, we'll get more curved windows and doors and stuff to work with the rounded rooms. If you go ahead and place a window that that spans across two tiles it's going to look a little bit weird so I want to show you guys what that looks like and it just kind of makes a blank spot <laughs> so um, it's a bit unfortunate that you can't even like see the window because I think even if you could see it it would I don't know still maybe look okay because this really isn't that big of a window but um, yeah it just doesn't quite work right uh, but hopefully there will be updates in the future like I mentioned for the um, other windows in game like if this could curve that would be so cute but I do want to look at the doors too so all of the single tile doors should work just fine they should um, place properly you can see a couple of those from the expansion pack but the base game ones if they're single tile should all look fine as well um, but I do want to look at the larger rooms and see uh, what they look like when you filter by the larger options so if we go right here these ones are for the support large and extra large curved walls and there's really not that big of a difference of a selection there's I mean a few of these windows but it really doesn't look perfect because it doesn't curve so I mean keep that in mind it looks okay and you could definitely get away with it in a build but it does look 
mean a little a little bit different <laughs> but uh something that i have noticed when i've been building around with the new expansion pack is things can look a little bit weird when you start combining the round rooms with walls and basically this happens when you go to drag a wall and it's placed in the center tile of this room so as you can see here they're broken up by um, individual panels for the walls and so you can see one ends here and begins here and so when you go to place the wall tool it kind of will place in the center of that and they don't connect perfectly so there's a bit of a gap so it's something to keep in mind when you're planning out your builds or working on a build you might get a weird little like placement here and they won't connect and there's a bit of a gap but if you just go forward a little bit and actually go to where the panel ends and begins then you can create a perfect connection with the rounded room so it's just something to keep in mind as you're building but of course this is still new it's a brand new feature and things are going to be different as the sims progresses in time <laughs> and hopefully it will um yeah hopefully there will be more that comes from it because i think stuff like this really expands on um, the building possibilities and i'm very excited to see what people are going to do with it but that's basically it for the rounded room feature so there's a few different options to choose from in the walls and rooms panel and there are filter categories now so you can find windows and doors that will actually fit your rounded rooms almost perfectly and then of course there's a couple of different options that are coming with the sims 4 high school years that will actually curve with your rooms but this is it for the video so thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have and i'll talk to you guys soon bye